Hello, my name is Shahid Sandesukande. I am from Indonesia. Now, in this video, I would like to share my own experiences while I'm studying in the United States. It's, I concentrate my study on teaching and writing, which is in the English department. Now, this is my second year to be in the United States. Um, the previous year, there were so many things that I had experienced in the United States, particularly dealing with the way I studied and the way how I experienced different things while I was studying in CUE. Now, for the most part is that I choose to live on campus. Yes, living on campus is closer to a campus because every time you need to go to campus and every time you need to meet with the professors, you have available time to get there. And uh, transportation is also available every time, excluding the summer term because I have to wait for about one, one bus will come for about every 30 minutes. Now, the places that I have visited the most while I am in the United States are first one is Denver, Colorado. I went to Denver, Colorado to attend the Fulbright Enrichment Seminar. In that seminar, I met with many students from other countries, from Asia, Europe, um, Australia, and also some students were coming from the United, United Kingdom. In the seminar, we talk about a lot of things. Uh, one of that is the way we understood American poli political systems. Even right now, is there's going to be election of Barack Obama and Mitt Romney, but I'm not really interested in politics anyway because I'm just a teacher. Yeah, I'm just teaching. English. But anyway, now in Denver, Colorado, I've met the sort of like governor of the Colorado. He was a nice person and we were treated so nice by the Fulbright Committee, especially by the IIE officers. After coming back from Denver, Colorado, I went to, let's say, St. Louis, walking around with friends, seeing the gateway art, and um, understanding particularities in St. Louis. And surprisingly, I've met some friends who are here um, they are also Muslims like me. They were very nice, and we went to Idul Adha and Idul Fitri together. After going around in St. Louis, and I came into summer term, surprisingly, my abstract was accepted by the Court Seal Conference. Court Seal stands for the Council of Teachers of Southeast Asian Languages. The conference will be performed and, I mean, started and held in University of Wisconsin Medicine. Right there, I, I am going to present about the teaching of academic writing for students whose language, is, whose English is not their first language. The students are ESL students, English for second language. I did there, so I went to Madison and I purchased a ticket through kayak.com. I took four flights um, from, St. from St. Louis to Detroit and then Detroit to Madison. And when I want to go back to Edwardsville, I chose Madison, St. Paul, St. Paul, and St. Louis. All right. Now, an interesting thing was that when I was in Detroit, Michigan, I arrived in from St. Louis to Detroit, Michigan at, I, th I think if I try to remember, it was 1.45 p.m. Yes. Due to my own carelessness, I did not know about the different time zone because I thought that the time would be just the same between St. Louis and Detroit. What happened was in Detroit was that I almost not almost, I even left the airplane, and the airplane left me. Oh, very sad. <clears throat> but anyway, I walked, for, I walked from A10, the gate in which I arrived, 
from St. Louis and I ran off to C5 in order to see the gate in which I will go to Madison from that trade. Unfortunately, the gate was closed. I was so panicked and horrified. I thought that I wouldn't be able to go to Madison. And I didn't have some phone. It's pretty bad, isn't it? Studying in the United States and I don't have some phone. It's pretty bad. And I was waiting in the trade um, for about seven hours from 1.45 until 7 p.m. And when I got into the gate, it was in 8 a.m. The flight would be moving, would be conducted at 7.45 p.m. So I arrived in Madison a bit late. It's pretty bad, isn't it? But anyway, I enjoyed my trip and if you really understood the way I felt, it was really um, sort of like you have to deal with yourself and everything that you, to challenge you. And right now I am doing my fasting. It's the first time in my life to do fasting in Ramadan month while I'm in the United States and people around me are eating. <laughs> but I don't blame them anyway. I respect the cultures right here and it's very interesting to see how people do their own stuffs in their life. People go to work, people go to different places that they want to go. And while I'm here, I'm in, the in, in my apartment. It's pretty nice today actually. The sun shines so bright, but I, I choose to stay at home because I'm fasting and it's a bit tiring for me to go outside. So, well, now the other thing that I'd like to mention is that being a Muslim in the United States is another thing. Um, it's not a big problem, but we just need to accommodate ourselves with different things. We can't push people to be in our way. And um, in my case, I'm doing my own best. It's based on what I believe in Islam. I'm doing my own four prayers a day and I'm doing my fasting, even though no one can see that. But I believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can see that I'm doing fasting. I'm cooking by myself and everything I'm doing myself. And yeah, it's something that I wouldn't forget, this kind of experience. And for you, if you go abroad, especially if you are an American and you want to go abroad and facing different kinds of things in your life, just be sure that just like what I'm doing right here, I respect the, the local culture of this place. Because I live in Elvis Illinois and I respect all of the people and all of the things that they have. So the same thing will go to when you are com when you are going to different countries. So that in the future we will have mutual understanding, cross cultural understanding across cultures, so that there will be any more conflict, there will be no more wars problems, killing, murders, and the same thing, because in my own opinion that those things are really bad. I just hope that one day that the world will live peacefully, and to those people who put hate in their life by looking at different things and they have never traveled around the world and always feeling that they are the creatures, I suggest that to those people you should go out and see different things in your life but everyone in the world is the same we are the same and to be honest though thank you for Fulbright scholarship this scholarship is really amazing for me because I never thought that I could go to the United States and meeting with so many American people whom I've met only few of them when I was a kid I remember the first time I learned English by disturbing the tourists coming to West Sumatra, especially in Padang and Bukitinggi. I enjoyed that, and now I am in the United States. So I believe that in the next few years, we are going to have a nice mutual understanding between American people and people from other countries. So I just, I hope is that it's not it's not based on my own religion or everything, it's just my own personal reason. 
I hope that one day, it's not one day, even we have to start from now, that we have to create peace in the world, wherever we are, wherever we live, in whoever we are, and whatever we do in our life, whatever your religion is, we have to support the freedom of religion and the freedom of speech and also the freedom of individuals to live based on his or her beliefs. As long as it is for human solidarity, we have to support that. Alright, now, alright, that's my message right now. And once again, thank you so much for Bright Scholarship for giving me this great opportunity. And for the US Department of State, thank you very much. And God bless you.